Our learning target for today is I can create a lion by using lines and following a directed drawing. I'll know I've succeeded when my lion artwork showcases the element of line. For this project, you are going to need the textured paper and the paper with an oval on it that came home at the last supply pickup. You might find it inside the baggie with all the art materials. You will also need markers and or crayons, scissors, and glue. Here I have the materials that I'm going to need for my project. I'm also showing you a sample of a finished project. Notice all the interesting lines around the lion. All through the mane, I see different types of lines, designs, and patterns. A lot like what we've been working on, but now we're going to create a project with it. First, you're going to need to make sure you have the paper and the oval or the rectangle with the oval on it that came home at the last supply pickup. You'll notice I'm also going to use scissors and I'm going to start by cutting out the oval. This is going to be the lion's face. Notice my scissor hand is opening and closing and my other hand that does not hold the scissors is the driving hand. That's the hand that turns the paper. Once I have cut out the face of my lion, I don't need the scraps, and now I just need to focus on where that lion face is going to go on my paper. We want to add some glue to the back side, and the back side is the side that we can still see the line that we use to guide our oval, the line that we cut out on. That could be the back. That way the front looks all clean and clear. Okay, you can see that I'm gluing my face down on the paper. It's not quite in the middle of the paper. And I'm going to turn it over and give it a little back rub. That helps the glue stick down better. Once I've done that, I can start drawing. We're going to draw our lion together. We're gonna start by tracing around the lion's face. So the oval that you just glued down is now going to be what you trace around. I'm using my marker and I'm going very carefully because I don't want to have my lines go too far from the face of my lion. Remember, as we're drawing, if you need to pause the video, so that you can catch up, that's no problem. That's one benefit about having our videos. You can pause them at any time. All right, I have my face traced, and now I'm going to draw a lion's mane. We're going to use jagged lines going around the lion's face to create a mane. You'll notice my lines aren't even or the same, that adds a lot of interest to our lion's mane. You design your lion's mane however you would like, but make it plenty big. We're gonna add some interesting patterns inside. Let's draw the lion's face now. Start by adding two eyes on the face. Design the eyes any way you'd like. I've decided my lion needs some eyebrows. What about yours? Next, we're going to draw the nose. The nose is basically a triangle, and I'm gonna color that in so that it looks a little darker, and give my lion a bit of a little smile. From there, the face is complete. I'm ready to draw the body. Remember, if you want your lion to look different, that's okay. We're all creating different works of art. I'm now adding the lines for the legs. The legs of the lion are going to be in front of him. So he has two legs showing. The back legs would not be showing in this picture. And I'm adding some feet. I'm adding feet with little, kind of like letter U shape for his toes. I've added little mini rainbows to the top of the feet to make it look like he's standing. All right, we're gonna have to create the back part of the lion. So from the sides of the mane, create a curved line that goes down to the feet. 
That's the lion's body. He's actually sitting, and so he's sitting with his paws standing straight and his bottoms on the ground. He also needs a tail. Be sure to add a tail for your lion. Okay, now we have a space we can work with and where we're going to add all of our lines and designs and patterns. So if you have markers for this, I found that it works a little better on that special textured paper. Choose any marker colors you want and start creating lines, designs, and patterns inside of the lion's mane. I'm going to speed my video up a little bit and then you can check back in with me once I've created some interesting patterns on the lion's mane. Having all those different lines really adds interest to our lion. It's time now for some coloring and I'm going to use crayons. I don't know if you've noticed but when you use markers and then put crayons on top it's a really neat effect. So I'm going to choose some crayons and for me my paper is a little bit dark. I'm going to have to figure out what crayons will show up and I'm going to color in my lion. I can't wait to see your lions too. Make sure you show me a picture of your lion on Seesaw.